JJ the CPA here. Hope you're doing well. So where do you find the authoritative language that you can rely on related to the employee retention credit? You may have gotten a call or somebody's been talking to you about this, but know this, the IRS is going to hold you responsible as the employer to ensure that you got it properly. So the IRS provides a number of IRS notices as well as a revenue procedure that you can rely on. Now I'm pulling up a slide from my seminar that you can get instant access to. And I give you links to all of these. But guess what? I'm going to give you the links for free. No catch. I don't need your email. But in the body of this video, you'll see a link where then I give you a link to all of these IRS notices. With this being said, I've also, as you see here, giving you kind of a summary of what each of those IRS notices and revenue procedure cover. IRS Notice 21-20 provides a ton of examples and information on what a governmental shutdown is, also related to the gross receipts. The rest of the IRS notices are the build on the questions that needed to be resolved that came up, as well as then the law being extended related to this. So check out the link in the body of this video. Get that. Read through it. With that being said, I'd love it if you check out my seminar. It's over three hours. Instant access. You get a PowerPoint that goes along with it. It walks through everything related to this, literally A to Z. It's meant to be a do-it-yourself seminar because I also then walk you through how to do the calculations. I give you examples, Excel spreadsheets, as well as additional links related to this and additional two videos on how to prepare the Form 941X step-by-step. -step. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. You have a great one.